This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing here. All right, so bloop, we're continuing with our velocity app. Create an if else if else condition statement to calculate the price of a ride based on the following structure. All right, so let's head over here. What are we on? Milestone four, I think. Yep, right here. All right, so what we want to do is if duration is between zero and less than or equal to 20, we're just going to charge them whatever the flat base rate is. And they set us up with an if statement, if, else, if, else. So remember what happens is if this is true, this part executes right here and the rest doesn't. If this is false, we're going to check the else if. If that happens to be true, this will execute and the rest doesn't. If both these are false, this is the final thing. All right, so we need to keep in mind how to do this. Something that's always tempting for me as well as, well, everyone is like, all right, I need a greater than equals to, and I need a, uh, well, greater than, and then a less than or equals to, bam. So this is not going to work. Why it doesn't work is the computer can only assess one, can only evaluate one statement at a time. Here, we are claiming two things. Right. If I put duration in here and I put zero and 20, the computer is not going to know what's going on. It is going to attempt to make sense of this. However, it is only again going to be able to assess one thing at a time. So what we actually have to do, guys, is use an and operator. So boom, like this. So the computer can assess this. If this is true, great. And if this is true, if we do not use these ands, it won't know how to do it. We can only give it one piece of information, one thing to assess at a time. So this will result in a Boolean and this will result in a Boolean. This whole thing up here, if we did it like this, you're actually asking two questions. You're saying, hey, is duration greater than zero? And is it less than equal to 20? Right? That's two separate questions. And because of that, computers are simple. We have to break it out into two things for our computer. So I did this first one. And let's move on to this one. And this one is uh, 20 less than duration. Uh, and uh, duration less than or equal to 40. Okay. So we could do it like this. We can also flip flop these if we want, but this will be sufficient. Now let's get these rates in here. So base rate for that one. This is base rate plus two. And then finally, our last one down here is base rate plus four. Cool. So that's all looking good, I think. Um, let me go ahead and add price. Although we're gonna see this on the screen anyways. And let's make sure duration is also getting calculated. Keep in mind, something I uh, somehow deleted at some point, you want to have duration set up here day and promo. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm going to do a scooter. Base rate should be four on this. And let's do get a ride. Six bucks. Outrageous. 51. Eight bucks. I don't know why I'm saying bucks like that, but it is what it is. All right, let's give bike a shot. Boom. Everything is looking good. Onward.